right, let's do some conversions. Converting from degrees to radians and radians to degrees is a pretty important little skill. It's not very difficult, but it is pretty important. So if you watched my last video on what is a radian, right, you saw some of these, uh, these basic ideas. The fact that, you know, we said that 360 degrees, well, that's a full revolution of a circle. And that's also equal to 2 pi radians. And if you recall, we have, you know, basically, these are two different ways to measure angles, right? So this angle that you see on your screen, this theta, you could say that it's about 57 degrees, or you can say that it's about one radian. So one radian is about 57 degrees. And if you wanted to extend that idea, pi radians is half of a revolution. That's also 180 degrees. Full revolution is 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. And what we talked about last time is if you wanted to get radians by itself and you wanted to get the unit 1 radian, you would just divide everything by 2 pi. So you get 360 over 2 pi. And you want to simplify that. So we're going to say 180 over pi is equal to 1 radian. And that needs a little box around it. It's pretty important. Similarly, if you wanted to go the other way, 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. This time, let's get the degrees by itself. So let's get 1 degree over here. To get that, we divide by 360. So 2 pi over 360. Simplify. get 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. All right, so we're developing ways to go from degrees to radians really quickly. All right, what that means is when you see a degree, here's an example, and you want to convert that to radians, how many radians is that? Uh, all you need to do is really either multiply, every time you're going to either multiply by pi over 180 or 180 over pi. All right, and to choose which one to do, if you're going from degrees to radians, you want to multiply by pi over 180. All right, degrees, degrees to radians, multiply by pi over 180. Radians to degrees, let me write this the other way, one radian equals 180 over pi. So if you're going from radians to degrees, you want to multiply by 180 over pi. All right, so that's really the, those are the two, and I'll put a mark next to each one. These are the two that you want to memorize. If you're going from radians to degrees, multiply by 180 over pi. Degrees to radians, pi over 180. So here we go. Let's multiply 320 by pi over 180. So we're going to get 320 pi over 180. And let's just simplify. 320 and 180 both have zeros. Let's get rid of them. 32 pi over 18. All right, we can still definitely see that these are both even. So 16 pi over 9 would be your answer. All right, that's in radians. Radians are always going to be, most times, are going to be in terms of pi. They don't have to be, but for a lot of these conversions, they will be. So 320 degrees is equal to 16 pi over 9 radians. Number two, go from radians, this is in radians, go to degrees. So we're going to multiply this time by 180 over pi. And you can see the pi's cancel, which is nice. So we're left with 7 times 180, 7 times 180 over 6. Now I'm not going to multiply these together because I, right away I noticed that I can simplify the 180 and the 6. 6 goes into 180 30 times, so this is 7 times 30, or 210 degrees. Same thing goes for negative. You can convert this to a radian. The answer is going to be negative. Same strategy, right? Multiply by pi over 180. So we get negative 210 pi over 180. Let's knock those zeros off. Negative 21 pi over 18. These are both divisible by 3. Let's go to negative 7 pi over 
6. And that's in radians. So negative 7 pi over 6 is the same as negative 210 degrees. Do a couple more here. This is already in radians. I want to convert it to degrees. So let's multiply by 180 over pi. The pi is canceled. We're left with 4 times 180 over 3. 3 goes into 180 60 times. So this is 4 times 60 or 240 degrees. Convert this to radians. It's going to be a negative answer. So negative 285 times, that's in degrees, times pi over 180. So we're going to go negative 285 pi over 180. They're both divisible by 5. So let's take this over here and we'll divide them by 5. Uh, let's see, I get 5, 25, 35, 57. So negative 57 pi over 180 divided by 5. This is 15. This is 36 over 36. And that's in radians. And I think that's simplified all the way. If it's not, you would simplify it all the way. But I think it is. Number 6. Last one. Let's take this radians to degrees. Okay, so we want to take negative 19 pi over 6 and we're going to multiply that by 180 over pi. The pi's cancel out, which is nice. That's going to happen every time you go from radians to degrees, provided that there's a pi in the initial radian. There doesn't have to be for the record, but usually there will be. And I get negative 19 times 180 over 6. Again, 6 goes into 180 30 times, so it's negative 19 times 30. So I'll multiply 19 times 30 and see what I get. So it's 0, 2, 7, 0, 0, 3, 570, negative 570 degrees. So there you go. Six quick examples on how to convert from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. Next up, we're going to talk about how to graph angles in standard position. Thanks for watching.